sponsored by Paradox. I built this yesterday. It's like, um, it's like one of those cooking shows, right? And here's one I prepared earlier. So I played yesterday for a couple of reasons. One, I hadn't played in a while. I wanted to warm up again. And two, the stuff that we want to showcase today with the Second Chances expansion um, is not really something that is is you're going to necessarily do, like, right away. You kind of need a starter prison going so that you can get the rest of it going on here. But I'm planning a bunch of expansion. What I did, um, there's a bunch of things I want to talk about. But first, I, uh, I set, up, set, set up this prison that was pretty stable. And then I just let it run for a couple hours this morning, uh, which is why we have tons of money to build with. I just I just kind of let it run. Um, everything mostly worked out. We do have uh, maybe an excessive number of criminally insane uh, prisoners uh, now, which I don't even have an intake for. So clearly some things went a little bit poorly, perhaps, uh, during the two hours. But, uh, you know, that's just going to add to the fun factor of the game. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -mm 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 -mm. Nice looking person. Yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with it. So, yes, this is a sponsored stream. It is a stream sponsored by Paradox so that we can showcase the new Prison Architect DLC. Uh, you can get uh, a link so you can take a look at the DLC yourself uh, down below. You can click on the image or in the Twitch chat. You can do exclamation mark what game. There's going to be a link in there uh, that will link you to where you can take a look at this DLC. All right, let's go ahead and play. I'll give you a tour of the existing prison. And then we're going to go on an expansion spree, because I've got lots of room to expand over here. Um, and one of the things, okay, so Second Chances, uh, what it features, it says uh, in my little brief here, focuses on expanding and completing the game's prisoners re uh, prisoner reform, rehabilitation, and ultimately the reoffending loop. Uh, new features and programs provide additional prisoner reform and rehabilitation, da 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 So one of the things that can happen in your prison, for example, right, your prisoners can be paroled. Um, you know, if they've, if they've done okay, if, if they're, you know, if they, ha if they've been good prisoners, they haven't, you know, done too many bad things in prison, yes, they can be eligible for, for, for parole, and then they get out. And then there's a chance, there's a percentage chance of whether or not they reoffend or not. And if you do get someone who reoffends, you get kind of dinged for that. You get penalized if you let someone out who then reoffends. Um, and in fact, now I think, and this I think this part is new. Now those prisoners will then be returned to your prison. Uh, but yeah, you will take a, a money hit for doing that sort of thing. Whereas anyone who is successfully reformed, you will get a bonus for for doing that. And so second chances really features a lot of extra functionality around that aspect. The idea of um, successfully rehabilitating people um and that's through a bunch of new work programs is one of the big things with it so there's you can now open bakeries restaurants so prison bakeries prison restaurants where literally civilians from the outside come they get served by by prisoners who are learning to um to cook and to do customer service and things like that so they can be ready for the outside world because you know if they can go back to a you know, a good successful job, they're going to be less likely to reoffend. Um, there's also new therapy options like animal therapy, where someone comes in with a puppy for the prisoners to play with and pet that sort of thing. Um, former prisoners can come and and talk about you know their life afterwards to things. Uh, there's meet and greet and stuff with civilians as well. Lots and lots of new reform programs, which I think is really 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 cool. Um, no, literally no one's tried to dig out of this prison yet, which I'm kind of surprised about, because let's be honest, there's not a tremendous amount of wall space over here. Uh, it wouldn't be a very difficult dig out, but literally zero, it's day 59, literally zero prisoners have ever tunneled out. I have had some escapees because um, the uh, clinically insane do like to wander just out the front door. Uh, so it's really important that if you are playing with the criti uh, criminally insane people, that in your um, deployment over here, that your your exits are really flagged as, uh, as staff only. Uh, so that and, you know anything like that gets caught pretty pretty early. So I've got kind of a double uh, double airlock. Actually, this area was also the outside was flag staff only. But I think I just made a little change over here to make sure I've got my lawyer's office, and I think that broke my uh, staff yeah, only flag over here. Boom, boom, boom. Do they serve Putin? I think our restaurant should be like exclusively a Putin oriented um, restaurant. We have to come up though with good puns. We need a name for a restaurant. I don't think you actually get to name it in game, but we'll know what it is. Um, you know, I was trying to think, I was like, did Gordon Ramsay open up a prison restaurant or things? No, I guess they ran a prison bakery and then they supplied it to, um, was it Cafe Nero? 
or something like that. It was something of that that nature. We got some whiskey and chocolates that have come in here. Let's go ahead and take a look at those contributions. Uh, bribes to the warden, I guess, today. Uh, quiet Tony, thank you very much for that. Uh, so it's time for some the crime and punishment. Oh, this is going to be really painful today, isn't it? Thank you very much for starting that out, Quiet Tony, though. That was much appreciated. Kuma Nachos, hey! Uh, we maybe can serve nachos in a restaurant. I already hear the drums of food beating already, and then I have a, I have sneak some rum into your prison for me to keep going. Oh, well, clearly we're going to have to shake down uh, Kuman Nacho's prison cell. Um, dad jokes. Dear math, grow up and solve your own problems. Where do fruit go on vacations? They go to Paris. That's terrible. I love it. Uh, Firefly, thank you very much as well. Just got a raise today. Time to spread the love. Oh, thank you very much. You know, I haven't had a raise in years. Mostly because I've been working for myself, so that's not how any of this works. <laughs> uh, and Gradius, thank you as well. Been binging on your past War Fortress content. Thanks for the content, awesome community. That is something we have to get back to. But luckily, we do have a builder game going on over here. So, let us I think it's time, finally, to give you a little tour of my prison. So this is currently the one and only entrance. And here's something, I actually, I don't think I've ever done in any of my previous uh, Let's Plays. I actually have automated doors for a change. So we get the front door to the prison over here, reception, where the prisoners come in, they get their uniforms, and they get searched for any contraband. Also got a little storage over here. And then we've got our, so this is sort of like a just sort of administration area, the whole thing between the reception and then all of our offices over here, you know, and our power. And then we've got our security offices and armory. In hindsight, I should have put the armory behind the security office so that if anyone tried to sneak into the armory, they would have to walk through security where there's plenty of people. It's a bit of a dark spot there. I could put a camera, but I mean, unless there's a riot, because if there is a riot, the riders like to storm the armory so that they can steal some weapons. Um, but other than that, I think it's been pretty chill. Uh, let's keep going down sort of the uh, the main straight over here. So we got the kitchen. This kitchen has more cookers than it strictly needs. Um, on medium food, like uh, medium, because there's medium quality and medium quantity, I guess. If the, if it's at the medium, you really, one cooker can do about 20 prisoners. Um, and so we clearly have like way too many cookers in here. What I'll probably do when we set up a restaurant is I'll probably move some of the cookers out there. And then on medium quantity, I think one fridge handles about two cookers, some sort of ratio like that. Um, so, I mean, the, the fridge to cooker ratio is fine, but we have more co uh, cookers we need. I got four cooks as well, plus all the prison labor. So um, I don't think I've ever not fed every single prisoner in the prison. Uh, we've got our cantina over here where people can eat. It's a little bit crowded. Um, I'm not super keen with the layout I ended up with. One of the things that's really important, by the way, um, which I've been learning is, can prisoners form a music group as part of the reform? They could be the Contra Bands. Boo! 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 Well, that's a good name. Pat Downs and Pancakes. That's a good name for our restaurant. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit packed in. But yes, one of the things that's important uh, that I've, I've, I've finally recognized after a few playthroughs of this, make sure you have miscellaneous other um, uh, recreational activities and things like that in a lot of these shared areas. So for example, in our cantina here, I've got the radio for some entertainment, uh, a couple of phone booths. I've also got um, drinks machine, snack machine, and water over here, which increases the quality of the cantina. We've got prayer mats over here. So anyone who's not eating, if they're just like, if they're done eating, if they're not hungry for some reason, and they're just stuck in the cantina, they can go at a little bit cranky. So we've got that. Also got uh, some toilet and shower combinations over here. This is something I hadn't really realized. You can stack the, the grate, the toilet, and the shower head in the same tile, and it's just perfect, really good use of space. Um, and I mean, admittedly, there's no privacy over here. The prisoners don't care, but part of me is actually considering, um, because I've got some extra space, I could put, I could do a little booth around here, right? I could move it so that it's sort of like the setup with a wall and then kind of a door in front or something. I don't know, but it, this works, so we're going to leave it. I got the yard over here, nicely paved, plenty of things to sit around. I like these new bleachers over here to increase the quality, well, new to me anyway. Um, I don't think this is part of Second Chances, but it's still kind of new to me. And again, you know, miscellaneous extra stuff like these toilets over here. Um, and it really has kept people, like, I'm not saying we haven't had any fights. You know, people, prisoners knifing each other or getting cranky at the guards. This has certainly happened. But it's been really, really good in terms of keeping the overall, yeah, poop while showering. Exactly. It's very, it's time efficient. Uh, <laughs> it's just really efficient. Um, 
But yeah, I haven't had any real disasters. Same thing, the cells, all my cells are like pretty luxurious cells over here. Um, we've got comfy beds for the prisoners. I've got the same stack here. I actually don't have a communal shower at all. I mean, other than the fact that I guess there's the showers over here. Every prisoner has their own private shower. We don't have a, I don't have a shower time in my regime either. Um, the idea is, so they sleep. Prisoners need six hours of sleep, so they got six hours in there. Then I give them an hour to lock up, so they'll, they should wake up at that point, but still be restricted to their cells, which they'll probably take advantage of the toilet and the shower, so they'll deal with their bladder and their hygiene needs before they go into gen pop. Ooh, someone, some, someone had some scissors. Uh, before they go into gen pop, and, um, you know, so you don't want them to be cranky when it's time to go and have some food. And then, you know, it's free time and work and things like that. You know, hopefully they're not too hungry at this point. This might be one of the riskier times because last time they ate is like eight or nine. Um, but it seems to work out okay. I think three hours is the longest you need for any particular program. So that seems like a good length for these blocks here. And I've currently got everyone on the same schedule. I was thinking of doing a split schedule between medium and security so we could overlap the, um, the kitchen times. But then I thought, oh, maybe the programs will be annoying. I think what might happen is we might develop a maximum security wing and separate them out. What's with the dark cells? Over here, it's because uh, we've got Fog of War enabled. So if we don't have anyone over here, we don't... Uh... Actually, no, you're right. There's just missing light. Oh, we should fix that. Here, let me just get a light at each one of these little intersections. There we go. I mean, that's more lights than we need, I think, strictly speaking. I was say, oh, we don't have vision. But no, we do have vision. It's just dark. Because I do have a guard patrolling through here and things like that. Sounds about... Well, I was going to say, we're I'm, I'm taking maybe more of a, um, like, a Scandinavian prison model. Because the thing is, like, um, being incarcerated is punishment enough. You don't need to, like, design... Prison doesn't have to be, like, in, intentionally designed to be torturous. It's gun, it's punishment enough as is, Right? So, you know, let's let's be decent people over here. Plus, if we keep the prisoners mostly satisfied, then they don't cause a giant ruckus and I don't get fired for having a bunch of my prisoners die. <laughs> for some of them, it's the last resort. Oh, oh, that's funny. That's very good. Um, yeah, so that's that. I have another block of cells over here. These are all padded cells uh, because I had to make quite a few. We currently have 21 criminally insane prisoners, so I have 21 padded cells currently in there uh, set up. Um... Yeah, big classroom. Well, it's bigger than it probably wanted in practice, but there's a, one of the grants. It I mean, requires to be able to classroom with 20 desks. Actually, I just realized it might not need to be one classroom with 20 desks. Conceivably, I could make two classrooms with 10 each, which would let us run more programs concurrently. And in hindsight, that probably would have been better. But anyway, I set one up here with 20 desks, which is overkill. I'll probably set up another one relatively soon. Uh, padded cells with iron bars. I know, right? Like, are the are the bars padded? Maybe. They got bubble wrap around them. That's how it works. Uh, library. We got a couple of different psychiatry offices. Uh, I've got a couple of different psychologists as well over here. In fact, someone's getting a uh, reform program uh, taught to them right now. I don't have a workshop yet. Um, I do have a, yeah, a little shop over here so the prisoners can purchase things. This satisfies their luxury needs. If you ever see a prisoner where, you see, this prisoner here has huge luxuries needs. He's got to go shopping for some luxuries. We've got staff working there. And uh, this is definitely a place where contraband can exist. I've got a, a bunch of, like, metal detectors in various areas. Um, I just realized, I guess technically you could avoid this metal detector, come here and go straight to the cell. Maybe I should just get another pair over here or something like that. I don't know, we gotta leave a little bit of excitement. There's, um, how do you get the contraband map mode? Is it intelligence? Yeah, so contraband is being stolen. Right, the visitor center makes work, uh, makes sense. Maybe I should have a, uh, a police dog positioned inside of here. There's also the shrink's office. Maybe I should move his door here. You know what? Maybe I should do that. If I move this uh, shrink's door here... And in this hallway, position a uh, police dog, because that they can sniff out the drugs. Right, because metal detectors just detect metal things. Yeah, I should 100% do that. Um, I don't know if gangs are turned on. I think I just left all the default settings, and I don't know if gangs are enabled by default. But yeah, I'm, I'm not running any informants, and that is true. Okay, we're going to start, start the new area soon, but can I just move the door here? Will that take down the wall if I do that? <laughs> restaurant. 
Shack Shank. It's funny because it sounds like Shawshank, but also a little bit like um, Shake, Shake Shack. Something like that, you know? Uh, we got whiskey and chocolate. Who that? Quarter Chubs, thank you very much. Hey, Quill, sorry to distract you from Prisoner Architect. Are you planning on Humankind this weekend? In fact, planning it tomorrow. More on that in a bit, but yes, tomorrow at about 2 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, uh, there will be more Humankind for those of you who are waiting for those drops. Mm -hmm. But meanwhile, do this. Make sure to click that link. Oh, more restaurant named Cornmeal and Grits. Cornmeal and Grits. That's good. Um, let's assign a dog handler to this hallway. How many, how many uh, guard dog people do I have? I think I've got four. Yes, I've got four. One's assigned to this front hall all the time, or I thought they were. Yeah, one's assigned to this front hall, one's assigned over here. Maybe I should have more. Yeah, the wall's being fixed. There it is. They were just really slow, my construction guys. You know what, let me get a couple more um, dog handlers. Now, do they wander the prison when they're idle, or do they just hang out over here? I guess, okay, the dogs are sleeping, which is why these guys are here. But I think otherwise they do wander around, or maybe go to security. Yeah, I think they were just, there was just too many tired puppies. That's all. And actually, there's a lot of security guards hanging out out here. I guess we don't have enough to do. <laughs> Alcachez? Alright, let's start building things. So, what I was thinking is in this area over here... I would do sort of um, like our civilian services wing, right? Restaurant, bakery, that kind of thing. Wouldn't be better if the Kettenlex security. Maybe I just put it there because there was space, but maybe it does. I like maybe I, I don't know, actually know how the guards like move around between different places. Maybe that would make perfect sense. I don't know. Uh, so I built this prison yesterday, so that we'd have a starting point. Now, of course, there's the quick build system over here, and. This is actually kind of nice to have kind of a general idea. Maybe, I mean, we could just pop this out. It is pretty nice. And it's clearly going to be functional. But it gives us an idea about what stuff we're going to do. Looks like, do the, do the things get served in a buffet style? It looks like it, eh? So, I mean, we've got our fridges, we've got our cookers, and our sinks. And it has a little display case. I know, right? I, I'm really proud of this prison, Pollock. Because you're right, it does look a little too efficient. Oh, I did not put a sprinkler in the electrical room. I didn't realize that would be a thing to uh, be concerned about. I actually have very few sprinklers. And I should probably have more. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we got some people going a little bit stressed out over here. Um, is there something I could do? I do want to start building new stuff, but is there something more I should do to, like, help deal with the criminally insane? Um, I mean, we've got, you know, we've got a couple of shrink things, they've got their padded cells, I've got a good number of orderlies. I think I have, yeah, I have one orderly for every two of the criminally insane. Something triggered a search of our holding cell. separate canteen for them that i think that's what's going to happen i think i might have a proper criminally insane wing over here to keep them isolated and then like a high security um sort of max security wing over here as well uh to keep them separated from the more medium security stuff over there but yeah i guess we're going to ignore it for now what is this? a notebook page oh neat design notebook stuff i like these little extras they're very cool Make a ride to kill them off. Okay, hold on. There was one more whiskey and chocolate, then we start. Oh, it's nachos! How dare you search my cell for booze? After I gifted the warden a bottle of rum every week, I got carted at the liquor store and my Blockbuster card accidentally fell out. The cashier said, never mind, I don't trust those trees. They seem kind of shady. High density of jokes from Cool Man Nachos. Thank you very much for that, though, buddy. Okay, tell you what. I'm going to go ahead and just put down the pre-built restaurant. Because I kind of like the shape of it. Put it there. Uh, we'll, we'll probably do the bakery as well. I don't think I'm going to place down immediately, though. Yeah, maybe we will. Well, actually, I don't like the... Maybe we will. Let me do something like this. Okay. Um, I do want to make sure this is all in a fenced-in area. 
Let me do some more perimeter wall that just extends through here. I got the money. It's going to take a long time to build. But let me enclose, like, all this. We'll get that, we'll get that enclosed. In fact, that part of me is even temp tempted to, like, cancel this for now. Um, I think we're going to get some doors over here. Now, I'm assuming that none of the prisoners are going to wander over here right now. Oh, I can't do that right now because there's a blueprint. Does the bakery sell suspiciously shaped goods that look like escape tools? They're really good at making cakes with nail files in them. Why is that, like, the classic thing, right? In every, like, cartoon or comic strip or whatever, that was always the uh, the thing of... You, they would get a cake... With it, not a nail file, but like a, a file, a metal file in it. To like, I guess, slowly saw through some bars. Like, why was that the de facto language of escaping? Is it something that ever happened in real life? I think the bakery is separate from the restaurant. I think they're completely separate things. Let's go iron bars were softer. Or hacksaw, yeah. I guess maybe the maybe the, the thing is that like a hacksaw was a little harder to like fit in and the file at least, you know, because it's so narrow is evil easy to sneak into things, but it could be used to file things away. Oh, dishes for your restaurant. Chili con carne, rack of lamb, peanut butter and jelly, crime brulee. Oh, these are really good names. I knew you guys would be good at this. Call the restaurant Carcer, so when someone asks where they had dinner, in Carcer I ate it. Crime brulee is really good. I mean, the name. I don't usually care for creme brulee IRL. I prefer my cream unburnt. Actually, I think for me, as I actually do like the custard quite a lot. Um, oh yeah, I want a separate utility room. Uh, on this side of things. Actually, do we have enough room over here? I'd just be lazy again and use the quick build version of it. Um, no, okay, I'll just build that. But I will probably put it over there. Um, it's the uh, the burnt sugar on top that often doesn't look, agree with me. If it's too thick and it's too caramelized, it just ends up tasting burnt to me. Maybe I've just had too many bad creme brulees. Could be. The story originated in 1804 when some prisoners aboard a ship managed to smuggle in files and saws and bread to use to escape, but they were ratted upon and the plan failed. Wow! <laughs> Tasted burnt there bad. I mean, I think I have a, a lower threshold for, like, a burnt taste than some people. That might be part of it. Um, okay, let's try, let's hook some servos up over here. Hold on. Uh, that's under utilities, right? Door servos? Some weird sounds coming from the game. Get that so we don't have to rely on guards to open and close these doors as often. Guy who ratted them out was pardoned, but what did he do? Commit another crime and was once again incarcerated. Man. Okay. Um. Right. So one of the things I want to do here is. Is that have enough room? Oh yeah, it's gonna be plenty. Good. It's whiskey and chocolate. It's whiskey and chocolate. Because our, our initial utility load, the power station over here is pretty intense. So I want to split the load up a little bit. Who dat?
Refresh, refresh, refresh. Refresh faster. Jamrod, thank you! Just a small donation towards the Whiskey and Chalka Fund. Thank you very much. Oh, it's gonna be a good night tonight. I mean, I guess I could lock these doors open. For now, actually. Can I not do it correctly? 